Top 10 Strongest Metals in the World. Please subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. First one is the tungsten. Tungsten. The name has been derived from the former Swedish name tungsten which means, heavy stone. It is a rare metal found naturally on Earth's surface. It was identified as a new element in 1781 and first isolated as a metal in 1783. It is remarkable for its robustness, and has the highest melting point of all the elements discovered, melting at 3422 degrees Celsius. It also has the highest boiling point, at 5930 degrees Celsius. Also, its density is 19.3 times that of water, which is much higher than that of lead. In fact, it is the heaviest element known to be essential to any living organism but, it can interfere with molybdenum and copper metabolism which is somewhat toxic to animal life. One of strongest metal in the universe tungsten takes a firm position. With an extraordinary tensile strength of 1510 megapascals. Taking the second position in strength of metals is chromium. It is naturally found as ore in form of chromite. It has a tensile strength of 689 megapascals. The most widespread use of this silvery metal is in stainless steel formation. When combined with iron, this metal eradicates the issue of rusting of iron. It also turns steel into a shinier and more impressive appearance which is often seen on the railings of stairs in malls. Chromiums use in expensive bathroom fittings and in the manufacture of car bumpers is also widespread. This metal gives a dashing look to cars by its shiny and attractive appearance. Chromium is a lustrous, brittle, hard metal which is generally silvery gray in color. It is a highly polished metal that does not tarnish in air. Also, it is unstable in oxygen and immediately produces a thin oxide layer that is impermeable to oxygen. Third most strongest metal is titanium. Titanium, with an atomic number of 22, is a very unique metal. It is unique because of its low density yet inexplicable strength. Titanium has a strength of 434 megapascals. Low density combined with high strength means that its use in places where high strength is needed with low weight is widespread. Its use is common in manufacturing of some aircraft and rocket parts that need high strength with low weights to be able to lift off easily. When combined with aluminium and iron, titanium alloys are used even in missiles as it can withstand high temperatures and pressure that a missile goes through its projectile. A very helpful use of titanium is in the form of titanium oxide to make sunscreens. Sunscreens help save the skin from harmful UV rays. Titanium is a lustrous transition metal with a silvery appearance, low density, and high strength. It also has good resistance to corrosion in seawater, aqua regia, and chlorine. Fourth in the list is gadolinium. Gadolinium takes its name after the famous Finnish chemist and mineralogist Johan Gadolin. With a tensile strength of 430 megapascals, gadolinium is a main component in the manufacture of magnetic devices. Such devices include magnetic storage media like hard disk, compact disks, it is naturally found in minerals like monazite and basnesite. According to sources, gadolinium has been used as a component in older cathode ray television screens. Gadolinium plays an important role in saving lives by being a major component in magnetic resonance imaging (MRI). This is used particularly in diagnosis of cancerous tumors. Moreover, it has the ability to absorb neutrons easily so its use in nuclear reactors cause is common. Fifth in the list is iron. Iron is everywhere around us. Indeed everywhere, from your household utensils to the mighty skyscrapers. Iron has an atomic number of 26 and a melting point of 1538 degrees Celsius. Iron is one of the four components that make up 90% of Earth's composition. Since iron is so abundant and found so easily, its main use is in the formation of steel. This alloy is necessary because raw iron is very corrosive. Carbon is the additive used in iron to transform it to the much stronger form of iron i.e. steel. Steel is then the main component in construction. It is also used in the making of heavy machinery where strength and toughness is the main requirement. A vital use of iron is in the formation of ammonia through harbor process. Today, it is the most widely used metal including 95% of all the metal tonnage produced worldwide. 
ranging from food containers to personal cars, screwdrivers to washing machines, from cargo ships to paper staples iron is extensively used. Sixth strongest metal is vanadium. This element is named after Vanadis who is supposed to be the Scandinavian goddess. Vanadium has a melting point of 1910 degrees Celsius and a density of 6 GCM3. Its color is silver and this metal resists corrosion. It is naturally found in almost 65 forms which includes minerals like vanadinite, carnitite and patronite. Most vanadium produced is used as an additive to steel because vanadium makes steel very tough. Vanadium enables steel to be used in the toughest parts in automobiles and mechanical industry. Parts like crankshafts, pistons, engine rings, wheel axles and much more are made from steel due to the strength provided by vanadium. Vanadium when mixes with aluminium in titanium alloys, it is used extensively in jet engines and high-speed airframes, and in axles, crankshafts, gears and other critical components. Also, it is used as a supplement in medicines. Moreover, the largest resources of vanadium are to found in South Africa and in Russia. Seventh strongest element is lutetium. Lutetium is one of the most expensive metals. It takes the 71th atomic number in the periodic table. This element is one of the rarest metals on Earth. It is found in very minute amounts in the Earth's crust and it is extremely difficult to separate lutetium from other metals. The use of lutetium is not widespread. However, some of its major uses is as a catalyst in the petroleum industry. It is used in refineries for petroleum cracking. It helps make useful compounds by pacing up the process of cracking. Furthermore, it is used in the process of polymerization, alkylation and hydrogenation. It is found in small amounts with all other rare earth metals of the earth and is very difficult to separate it from other rare elements. The leading producers of lutetium are United States of America, Australia, China, Brazil, Sri Lanka and India. Also, lutetium has a wide range of applications in refineries and petroleum industries which makes it really an expensive one. Eighth strongest element is zirconium. This element takes its name from a Persian word, zargon, which means gold-colored. As its Persian name suggests, it is a grayish gold metal with an atomic number 40. It is a highly corrosion-resistant metal. Zirconium is a transition metal that can easily form stable compounds. It is found in silver gray color and has high resistance to corrosion. Zirconium alloys are used in wide variety of ways including pipes, fittings and heat exchanges. Zirconium is also used in steel alloys, colored glazes, bricks, ceramics, abrasives, flashbulbs, lamp filaments, artificial gemstones and some deodorants. Moreover, use of zirconium alloys in nuclear reactor tubing and its use in making strong and tough materials like knives and scissors proves how much strong zirconium metal is. Zirconium has an important part in the medical industry in the diagnosis of kidney diseases and dialysis. Ninth is osmium. Osmium is the densest metal is known, that belongs to the platinum group of metals. It is lustrous, silvery metal and unaffected by water and acids. It is used in few alloys and in the industry as a catalyst. At one time it was widely used to produce nibs of high-quality fountain pens, compass needles, long-life gramophone needles and clock bearings, because of its extreme hardness and excellent resistance to corrosion. The metal is osmium. It has an atomic number of 76 and melting point of 3033 degrees Celsius. Osmium was discovered in 1803 and since then is being used for multiple purposes. It has a vibrant bluish-white appearance. One of its major uses is in the formation of alloys that result in the manufacturing of strong needles and electrical contacts. Moreover, its alloys have a major use in the medical sector. Its use in the manufacturing of pacemakers and artificial heart valves gives osmium a role in daily lives. Tenth is tantalum. With an atomic number of 73, this metal was discovered in the year 1802. Tantalum melting point of this metal is as high as 3020 degrees Celsius. This metal is of great vitality in the electronic industry. It is used in the manufacturing of capacitors and high power resistors. Tantalum electrolytic capacitors is a famous class of electronic component made by this strong metal. This metal has the ability to increase the capacitance within a small volume. 
This means that the use of this metal is widespread in microprocessing, mobile and tablet industries. Tantalum is almost impervious to chemical attack, that is why it is employed in the chemical industry, e.g. for heat exchangers in boilers where strong acids are vaporized. However, the main producing areas include Thailand, Australia, Congo, Brazil, Portugal and Canada.